guys! Welcome back to Karamia's Corner. Join me today for a craft with me session. If you've seen my baby craft unboxing, I had shown this bag filled with these beautiful filigree pieces. So here are some of them. It had over, I think, a hundred pieces in that bag. And today I'm going to show you three different ways on how to use some of these uh, beautiful pieces. So here I have a decoupage box that I had prepared. Uh, using a Dollar Tree craft box and this was a nice beautiful napkin. It looks wonderful. I like the colors of the box but I feel like it needs a little bit more embellishment so I've decided I'm going to make a lid topper. So we're going to use these, create some layers. So we have some of these and I love the shapes. They look like beautiful doilies. So let's see how it sits on top of our box and I picked out a flower as well. Let's see. That will work. Let me push that up. Let me just see if this works a little bit more better. That might work. Or I feel like this is a little bit more flat. So I'm just laying it out on top to see how everything looks. And we have this beautiful leaf that I can probably just put underneath. Once that's all together, we'll show you. Now, beautiful thing about filigree, as you can see, they're very delicate looking. They're very uh, uh, pliable, so you can definitely bend. So here is a butterfly, and I'm thinking I'm gonna put it right here on top of our flower but I want to create an illusion like it's moving it's not just a flat um, piece on top just to create a little bit of dimension so I'm just gonna bend it and look at this see able to bend it real nice there so you make it appear like it's sitting on top of that beautiful flower so let me put these together I think I'm gonna use um, my E6000 uh, to glue this on or maybe my fabric tech I'm not let's just see this is pretty strong but let's try our fabric tech I think that will work okay we have some paper so put some of that we just want enough to hold it in place. So put it right here and give it a good press. Let's see if it's fallen off. That's good. It, that will set and then I'm gonna put just a little bit of glue as well on our leaf here just on the tips that touch the box in our little stem and I think this is how I had it positioned gonna hold that down and now we're gonna put our flower and I think it'll sit nicely right here I'm just going to press the petals down and apply a little bit more glue just so our flower doesn't fall off here. So I don't mind it kind of popping up this way. You want to create some height on the flowers. So I think that'll look 
fine it's not coming off so that's good and now we're going to add our butterfly right here I think sitting this way or I think we'll sit better that way so we put just a little of our glue here on top Attach it to our flower. So I've just applied um, some of a couple of these pearls from a BB Crafts little pearl kit here. So I thought that would look good. I could embellish and put more pearls here, um, but we'll see. I think the purples would look really pretty and make it a little bit more ornate. So let me go ahead and do that, and then I shall show you what that looks like. So here is our box topper. I decided to go with the green beads. I thought it looked better. Um, and we have our flower. I love that uh, this filigree is pliable. You can bend it, so definitely you can create a little bit more dimension to our topper, creating the illusion of movement on top of the flower with the butterfly. Love this leaf filigree as well. So really pretty. I love these pieces. So now let's see what else we can do with them. Uh, I'm currently working on a clutch cover for a traveler's notebook, a vintage traveler's notebook I'm working on. So I have this folder uh, that I've used as the base, but what I'm missing right now is a closure so that once my notebook is in here, I can securely close this. So this is another great way to use these pieces. So now let's see which one will fit best. So we have several pieces here and you can place it here right on the center and see what will work best. I see this one as well. I'm going to be using a brad to help me out to close this. I feel like these are too big. I'm going to go with something a little bit more simple. So I think we'll go with this here. We'll center that. Let me just mark this and then we'll punch a hole there and pick a brad to make our closure. So I think I'm going to put it right here. Right about here. Mark that. And it out. So let's see which brad will work. So we have this floral piece. it's a because we have some flowers here I think that will work let me just see if the purple one looks good I love that it also has some filigree on it so let's see if this works better oh that's so pretty that might work one more uh, test on because we have so many of these pieces I also like putting oh this is so what do you think guys I think I like this I like the simplicity and the gem look on that let's see I think I'm gonna go with this green one I love that so I might go with the green I'm just going to secure this but before I do that I, I want to make sure I leave just a little bit of a 
gap there so I can tie, put my little string around it. So I have this. So I went ahead and tied the twine underneath the brad. If you want a cleaner finish for your closure and you don't want to see a string outside, you can definitely use Velcro as an alternative. For a vintage themed journals, I think the twine fits perfectly and looks fun and I like the idea of wrapping it around. So here is our closure for our clutch cover for our traveler's notebook. So you have this beautiful embellishment and it also acts as a closure for you. And finally, wanted to show you a quick and easy way to make a curtain uh, tie back using our filigree SC accent piece. I'm also using BB Crafts pearls here. We're going to be using shades of green. I have a few spacers that are in shades of pink and a little bit of turquoise blue. So for the edges or the closures here for our tie back, I'm just using these, I think they're lobster claw little hooks or clips. It came in a set and I thought this would be an easy way to do this. Since it wraps around, just clip it and it holds the curtain in place. So now I'm going to get a piece of thread. You are, if you have um, jewelry wire, you can definitely use that. But today, this is what I have. So first I have a little bit of thread that I'm just going to loop in here on our hook just to start it. And I am going to put my thread through here, through our loop, and pull it. So instead of tying a knot, we have this piece. And I'm going to use a needle and I'm going to th put my thread through so we can start putting our beads together. Now my eyesight is not great, so this tool comes really handy. So we'll start with our pink. And so on. So I'm just going to speed up this process and we'll have a look and see what our tie back looks like in the end. Also just a note here in the center I've used the cabochon uh, dome here in an oval shape which kind of complements the shape of this filigree and as you can see there are hints of green and pink which coincides also with the colors of our beads. So let me just speed through and I'll show you what it looks like in the end.
now we have all our beads placed and connected to our little hooks here. Um, I did notice some of these beads, the hole wasn't quite drilled uh, consistently through them, so I had a little bit of difficulty threading them through, but for the most part all of these beads worked out really well. Now I have a little jump ring that I've attached to our filigree so we can attach it to the center of our tie back. And it can be kind of the center piece of this. So now let me let's have a look and see how it'll look on a drape. Here are the three different ways we use this filigree embellishment from BB Crafts. So if you are interested, I'll put the link to these um, supplies down in the description box. Overall, I love these embellishments. I love that they're pliable. You can bend them according to the way you want to design them and use them. They're light, but not too delicate. So I think that's pretty awesome. And um, a quick apology for the placemat. It was a non-slip placement that I used in the background earlier so the beads wouldn't be rolling around but I noticed that it looked a little distracting so I hope you guys were able to skip through that process when I was um, putting these together and got to see how beautiful this tie back looked on that drape. So join me again for a new craft with me video next time. I will be showing you how to use these BB Craft floral and leaf dies and we'll do some card making. So thanks again for watching Karamia's Corner. See you next time. Bye.